Hello and welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. I'm your host, Lee Zen. Today we're going to be exploring rewriting requests with Lambda at the edge. So if we look at what we're going to cover today, we're going to cover Lambda function versions, and then going to look at rewriting requests with Lambda at the edge. In case you didn't know, you can actually use Lambda at the edge, meaning with CloudFront uh, in AWS, and then use that to rewrite requests, rewrite responses, and actually do a bunch of stuff kind of uh, intercepting those requests either from the user to uh, CloudFront uh, and changing the, how that works uh, from the request perspective, or even rewriting the request to the, uh, the origin. And then actually kind of doing the same thing on the way back, you can rewrite the origin response or even rewrite the response uh, to the viewer uh, before uh, uh, serving that, that content. So uh, if you want to follow along, uh, visit github.com slash Pulumi Pulumi TV. Uh, all our examples from Pulumi TV are there. Let's get started. We're actually going to investigate and, and look at a, uh, a real life uh, example here. This is actually the get.pulumi.com uh, code. So if you actually go to the uh, uh, re repository for this, it's you know, github.com slash pulumi slash get.pulumi.com. This is actually the uh, distribution that serves uh, all of uh, Pulumi uh, plugins. And we actually recently had an issue a few weeks ago where we discovered that uh, because of the way we were writing certain um, file names uh, into uh, S3 kind of uh, and, and the way we were we were treating it uh, we actually had a mistake where uh, pluses uh, needed to be rewritten as uh, the the H the URL encoded percent to be uh, so that S3 would interpret them correctly uh, and so you know we wanted to make sure that existing users weren't affected by this change and so we, we decided okay let's just rewrite the requests so that we get the right thing back uh, because the CLI is trying to make a certain type of request uh, with with the plus sign as it is and S3 is, is expecting that plus sign to be uh, a plus and not necessarily a plus in the space sense uh, from an HTML perspective, uh, from a URL perspective. So what I'm going to do today is actually just walk through the request rewriter that we ended up writing uh, and then talk about how it works. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so if you look at index.ts, uh, this is the, the main part of the code that kind of sets up the CloudFront distributions and everything else. Uh, within uh, get.plumi.com, the thing we really care about is actually all we did was we added one additional uh, set of uh, parameters here. We added a lambda function association, and we associated that uh, uh, event uh, with the origin request. So basically, uh, this is going to say um, every time there's an origin request, so in this case, we're going to S3 to grab uh, the uh, plugin, uh, invoke this lambda uh, this request rewrite lambda, and this is an ARN, and so we can we'll see from here that uh, we actually um, we actually you know export this uh, ARN with a version. So in the uh, in the in the intro, I talked about how we're gonna talk about lambda versions. In case you're not aware, uh, when you create a lambda function, uh, by default it has a, a version latest, um, and if you set publish to true, then every time you uh, create a new every time you update that lambda function, it's versioned, and so it'll have a new version number. And so the idea here is that we are referring to a specific version number uh, for that request. So what are we really doing here? Uh, first, we create a role uh, to invoke the lambda function. We have, and you notice the role is different from a typical lambda role. It has a lambda principle, which you would expect, uh, and this is this is to allow lambda to assume the role in, in case you know, we want to execute the function. But we also have this edge lambda principle so that that uh, can also assume the role to execute the function. So there's, there's an additional uh, assume role statement here. And then uh, similar as before, that role uh, has the lambda basic execution role. So basically this, this uh, is the manage policy from AWS that lets us uh, create cloud, uh, cloud watch logs and also uh, actually execute the, the function. Uh, we also create a provider here for US East 1, and this is because uh, Lambda at the Edge functions have to live in US East 1. That's where uh, CloudFront's control plane also lives. And then we simply define a callback function here. So uh, I mentioned how publish works earlier. Uh, we set a timeout of five seconds. This shouldn't take more than, you, know, you could probably even set this to, to, to one. Uh, and then we, we give it the role. Um, and in this callback function, we, uh, using you know the magic of the way Pulumi allows us to inline code, we define this async function that uh, takes this Lambda context and, and the event. And uh, if you go online, you can search for the CloudFront uh, request uh, event reference. And that gives us a set of, you know, all the different uh, event types and what they look like. And so in this specific case, uh, if we, you know, as with most Lambda events, there's a set of records. And uh, inside that record, 
uh, that first record, there's a specific field for the CloudFront request. And uh, we, we can take that request URI, we just log that. And the request URI, uh, if it includes a plus sign, which is what we want to rewrite, because we don't expect plus signs uh, normally in our URIs uh, for uh, get.polymer.com, except in the case where, for example, uh, we have a plus, you know, whatever flags uh, for the plugin. Uh, we actually want to rewrite those as percent two B. So we actually just basically look for the plus, uh, and we replace it with a percent two B, and then that's it. We return the request after it's modified, and then CloudFront will then go on and request uh, the correct URL from S3 or at least the one we, the one that we want with the actual uh, percent two B. And so that's actually all that this does. Uh, and actually, we can we can show you kind of a quick example actually of um, of how this works. I actually ran Pulumi Preview earlier. You can see there's no there's no diff, so there's really nothing super interesting to look at here. Uh, probably more interesting to look at is um, uh, if I can find a request. Let's let's try this command. And uh, if we run this, we'll see. Actually, I I, I had stick this file there earlier where it was just I just wrote some blank bytes to it, uh, some AAA bytes to this file. But you can see that. This plus sign is being rewritten as a percent uh, 2b, and uh, as a result, we're getting the correct file from S3. And without this function, uh, you'll, you'll have to kind of believe me since I already deployed this, but without this function, it would have failed the request as it would have tried to, uh, S3 would have tried to interpret that plus as a space. Um, it would not have actually retrieved the correct object. So that's it. Uh, that's actually all I wanted to go over today. Hopefully, this is super helpful for those of you who are using CloudFront and want to be able to rewrite requests to your origin. You can actually also do the, the reverse. You can actually rewrite the response. Uh, and so there's lots of way, ways you can do that and lots of interesting things you can do uh, for response rewriting. Actually, in, in fact, uh, uh, I built a, a, a CDN-based uh, authorization scheme to make sure all requests are first, uh, first have a correct token before passing on to the origin. So you can do all sorts of fun stuff with uh, Lambda at the Edge. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, please like the video. And also subscribe to the channel for updates and uh, make sure you click that little uh, notification button to get notified of new episodes. And we'll see you next week on Polymi TV.